Weather like that in the northern states, of course, is certainly enough to make me want to pack my bags and fly off to sunny and warm Florida. Of course, Orlando is a very popular destination year round, but especially this time of the year. And of course, SeaWorld is one of the more popular destinations with all of its exhibits. And that's where our very own Nicole Mitchell joins us live from this morning. And Nicole, I got to tell you, a viewer beat me to the question because I was thinking it during our last live shot. We got a Twitter in and they're wondering how much fish do those whales actually go through on a daily basis? Well, just here with the killer whales, there's eight whales and three of them are babies. Still, 1,500 pounds of fish approximately per day. And I think they might get a little more today if they don't get me too wet out there. We'll see if I can bribe them a little to stay dry. But of course, this is just one of the many shows here at SeaWorld. We had a chance to check out a number of them, including the Clyde and Seymour Take Pirate Island show. Hey, hey, big fella, slow down, slow down. Watch out, we're gonna get wet. Good boy. The California sea lion typically calls the Pacific Ocean home. For some of SeaWorld Orlando's lovable stars, Florida's warmer temperatures bring out some instinctual weather adaptations. That heat, uh, for example, our sea lions, they, they, they do a behavior that's called rafting. And if you look at sea lions in the wild, you'll see a bunch of them floating with their flipper up in the air. They're not, they're not necessarily doing their shark impersonation. They are uh, venting heat through their body and it's, it's, it's escaping up through that flipper. And so we've turned it into what we call a shark behavior and we put it into our show. SeaWorld sea lions bring laughter to the Clyde and Seymour Take Pirate Island show. But they share the spotlight with other more sizable characters. The Pacific walrus can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. They can actually constrict their blood vessels and restrict the flow of blood to the upper layers of their blubber. So a lot of times, in, in, in particularly when you see wall, pictures of walruses in the wild in the, in the Arctic waters, they, they're very pale in color, almost sometimes almost white. That's because there's not a lot of blood flow to the outer layers of their skin. They've, they've constricted those blood vessels down and that's conserving heat. These gentle giants can sleep in the water and their mouth full of whiskers is designed to find food. So you got big teeth back there. Open, nice and wide, there you go. Okay, good girl. And they can, can you give them a kiss there? Kiss. You hear that, that suction they have? Yeah, that's very good. They can suck the clam right out of its shell and then they just spit the shell back out. Together, these animals bring laughter, even a little weather to SeaWorld's guests. Okay, so Todd, what is your forecast for here at SeaWorld? Well, if you're at Sea Lion and Otter, it's a 100% chance of precipitation. 